Hey, what's up guys? Finally a new Clash Robbie on my English channel as well. Uh, I had some busy days, like I think you guys saw like the CL, we had like a two day match day like this week and I wanted to fully focus on that. And so the preparation time was like a bit longer than usual because we had like two games. So I wasn't uploading for like, over one week already. But as I already told you like um, YCL is kind of hard for me to do like good content. I try my best, I will try to do more uploads in the future. Because we don't have like any two games weekend anymore. So I appreciate any support for you guys. Thank you so much um, for your nice words on Twitter and all like your private messages. Thank you so much. I really appreciate any support of you guys. And today I'm going to show you the Hawk Rider Psychic, deck, which a lot of players played in the CRM. You have a really cheap cycle with the Hawk Triple Spell with Earthquake and Snowball and Log. And really, really nice against all the bait decks, against small decks, especially if you have like one and zero matchup. So if you have struggled against bait decks in general, this deck is so strong. Musketeer is so strong. Bomb Tor. Because you don't have a fireball in the stack, Bomb Tower is like really strong against Recruits and at the same time against um, Royal Hawks, you have the Knight as one of the solid tanks in the game. You have the Goblins. I prefer the Goblins over the Skeletons because then you have like more against Greybeard normally. If you have just the Skeletons, you have like your auto lose against Greybeard. If you guys don't want to miss any videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to activate the notification bell. And don't forget to use code mod in the shop. Really appreciate it. I'm going to see you in the first game. Let's go. Guys, right, you're in the first game and we play against Karween OP. We're going to give him good luck. Or like quite a good luck and I think we can just start off with a hawk, it's like my favorite play to do like just start off with a hawk and let's see what does. He's gonna play an EUS, he kinda misplayed the EUS, I think it's gonna be two hawk hit. Normally if you play the EUS in a perfect time against hawk it's just gonna be one hit. So we're just gonna drop goblins on that because at the same time, okay he's gonna go for Pekka in the back so it looks like it's gonna be Pekka Bridge Bam. You don't see that deck that often because Pekka Bridge Bam is kinda dead, it's like really hard to play in the meta players besides Carpi are not gonna have success right now at least. So I really want to go for Knight over here in case he's going with a high bandit. Exactly. Then we're going with a log, we're going with a snowball, and the nice thing is now we can go with goblins. And we should clean everything up. We go with a bomb tower now like that. And this is like really nice defense from us. And so far, so good I would say. We're going for knight over here. Play the knight like that at the Royal Ghost is still in the bomb tower bomb and now we have a Really good elixir advantage. I know he's like kind of low, so we're still gonna support with a hawk rider, and there's gonna be like a lot of hits because it. Okay, yes, Packer back and cycle. Okay, interesting. Okay, I didn't expect to have that much elixir, but it's fine. One hawk hit, and I don't think he's gonna be able to break through because he has to poison the mask. And if he's gonna poison the mask, we get so much damage. So, like what I um, he can't support. I mean. So we're going with this, and then we're going with a snowball over here. Snowball's great. Can we get a log? Oh, come on, log. Okay, that was that was close and expect to be honest, but it's fine. It's fine. We're still fine. He he's, he played the offense really well. I feel like um, for sure, Magic Archer is kind of annoying sometimes, but Earthquake Log is killing Magic Archer. But in the offense, I feel like uh, minions are annoying as well because he just had the snowball. So you're going for Hawk Rider here. He's going for PM before he goes. So. He needs one more card to cycle back to a packer and he's gonna go for aggressive battle and we're just gonna drop a bomb tower over here. Then we go with goblins. Then I think we're just gonna cycle a lock here. He's just gonna slow with a packer. I don't really wanna go opposite lane now because then he gets like a double lane push and I don't really want to have that like happen. Because if I go hawk he's just gonna ba drop a bandit and royal goes and then I have to uh, defend both sides. So let's see when he's gonna poison that. I think we are not gonna go. Oh, yes, now we're gonna go for defensive hawk rider. We're drop, dropping goblins over here. We're gonna go for log and cycle back to another musketeer. And at the same time, we get one hawk rider swing. So we wanna go with a knight. We're going with a hawk rider, uh, with a snowball. And we go with goblins in case he's gonna drop something. And then we're gonna go for log because then the world is gonna be dead. And this should be at least one hawk rider hit. Okay. Okay. I think we want to go for Musketeer now on the back. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for Packer. Mm, I think we just. Oh, that was a misclick. I just wanted to earthquake the Packer. Okay, now we make it more tough as, a, as we wanted to do it. So he's gonna go this. Going to snowball this. But this is fine. <laughs> Good defense. 
by us. We're going to Q preemptive because he has to drop an Electro Wizard on that or on Pekka. But this should be one hit all. Okay, perfect Pekka timing by him. Okay, he's playing well. Like, he's not doing like a ton of mistakes. I'm going to lock here because then the Eurus goes in front. Going for high. Going for Hawk Rider because he's low on Elixir. And if you earthquake this, we should take the win. Go for Snowball as well. We're gonna take the first up. Real intense game. He played well, but we played just better and we won the game. Let's go. So, guys, here we are in the next game against an Asian opponent. I think we're just gonna start with Goblins at the bridge. You wanna go to the side because then the Goblins are gonna get one more hit. Um, he's just gonna drop a Mortar. I feel like we're gonna go for Lock and we're just gonna go for Musketeer. Okay, as I said already in the intro, like Mortar Bait is one of the better matchups. Like, he plays like a different Mortar deck, maybe with Isis or something, but normally you're really happy to play against Mortar. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna go to support from Bait, I think it's interesting. Gonna go with Hog Rider. Gonna support with Goblins, because even if the Baby Dang splash it for once, uh, special ones is still fine because it didn't really matter because the knight is gonna want at them anyway so we're going for high um bomb tower gonna go for earthquake over here and you really you'll have to have the earthquake against the mortar here so let's see what he does so so far we are good i don't think it's gonna be a mortar hit and this is here, he, it looks like he's playing a splashy attack, like a normal gravy attack with the Goblin Cage of Bomb Tower, but instead of that, he has the. He has the, how's it called? Um, the Mortar. So we're going opposite lane because he's gonna poison it. No, he has some trouble maybe. Yes, he does. It was a really nice and smart move by us to go opposite lane. Um, because if I just would have hawked, he just could have nado that because he was kinda at free elixir. But. That's why I played the Goblin, so we had to go for Barber, we got some Hawk hits, because I already knew he has to poison the right side, because otherwise the Musketeer would have got too much value. So, hmm, I would say we're just gonna snowball this, and he doesn't have, he re doesn't have um, his poison cycle, so we can just go for Musketeer over here. Go for Hawk Rider. We're going with low Goblins. Little goblins are doing a great job. We don't even need to lock this, and this is like a kind of perfect defense. You want to call it like that? I'm gonna go for a snowball over here. Can we get one hawk hit? Yes, we do. I feel like now we're going for musketeer like that. If he's gonna go, I'm gonna figure where we can knight this, and then we're going for lock. Going with that in case he's gonna poison it. Yes, he's low on elixir. Snowball should be two hits. Yes. Going with goblins. And I think we're gonna go in over for musketeer like this. And now he think is he gonna nail that or not? Oh he messed. He messed up. This is GG. This is GG. Going with a knight over here. And he can't really do anything now. Going with a hog rider. He has to poison this. But if he's poisoned here, he doesn't have enough elixir to defend this. So we're going to go for late lock now. And we're going to take it up. Really, really nice game. Oh, it's your next game against an Asian opponent as well. So, hmm. I think this time I'm just going to start with a lock. Kind of switching up things. I could have played goblins as well, but yeah, he's gonna go for barbarian bow, so we're just gonna go for goblins high. He's gonna go for knight. We're just gonna go with a knight as well. Is this gonna be graveyard again? Come on, graveyard bomb tower like graveyard cage is a really tough matchup. Even with the goblins. Okay, we need to go for hawk opposite. He's just gonna nail that straight up to the tower, and then we go for musketeer like that. He doesn't have Barber and Psyche, so it really doesn't matter how we play the Mask, and I prefer to play it high because then it's harder for him to poison that. Going to be the Lord, going with Goblins. And he has to go in now with a uh, 5% first. Oh, the Musketeer connects for two hits, I think. Mm. Okay, 
great snowball timing, but still some damage. Okay, it's fine. The skeleton spawn at the end was kind of lucky for us. It no skeleton spawn on this side. Okay, we're gonna go for Earthquake over here. Musketeer is doing a great job. Oh, unfortunately, no hits. We need to lock this. Hmm. Well played, Bam. This guy is playing well. This guy is playing really well so far. So this is not gonna be an easy task for us. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Goblins. Go with Musketeer Gag because then he doesn't. He's not able to poison it with your tower, with this placement. Going for Earthquake. Going for Snowball. He messed up the tornado. Going for Musketeer again. Great log bears. Hmm. High musketeer once again. Now it's time for Hog Rider. Going for Earthquake. Okay, he's here. He has the tornado that's still. Yes, he does. So it's fine. Hmm. This is a great way to play him. Some skeletons breaking food, this is unfortunate. Good snowball earthquake combination. So, is he gonna go in now? Snowball. And this should, be, this should be it. We're gonna take it up. Really nice game. Really nice episode. If you guys don't wanna miss any videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to use code Morton in the shop. Really appreciate any support of you guys. And I will try to do more uploads frequently, like in the next couple of days. Really appreciate the support. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. And I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos. Peace out. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.